it's really impossible to exaggerate just quite how gruelling conditions have been inside hospitals and inside every part of the NHS caring for patients with COVID. Uh, the, the numbers from the first wave onwards have been on a scale none of us have ever experienced in our lives. Um, and that has caused just first and foremost sheer physical exhaustion for frontline staff but but not only that a real emotional toll on staff as well and, and that's for a number of reasons so first first of all just the sheer quantity of death and dying we as everyone knows we've we've had over 125,000 deaths due to covid in the last year since since this pandemic began and when you are at the front line of, of seeing patient after patient after patient coming into hospital with the same symptoms dying in the same way in in numbers unimaginable to, to any of us that hits you hard the the alternative to vigorous and aggressive suppression of, of this virus is um, a, a continued um, experience for all patients of healthcare being provided in a way that's fundamentally transformed by the infection control measures you have to have in place to stop transmission of the virus in healthcare settings. So PPE, we're all familiar with the idea of PPE, we all wear masks, but if you think about that from uh, the perspective of a patient coming into hospital with COVID or cancer or heart disease or any other condition and perhaps going on to die from that condition, what that actually means is from the very first moment you arrive in hospital, you are destined never to see a single human face again in your lifetime because absolutely everyone around you, whether they're a professional or a visitor, a member of your family, is going to be masked. So you will not see any lips or cheeks or smiles. You will only see masks and eyes covered by visors. And for patients, that's, that's obviously devastating. For staff, it's devastating too because... All of the ways in which we want to try and convey compassion and humanity to our patients, and we are all doing everything we can to achieve that, but all of those ways are just subverted and twisted by PPE and also by the lack of family members at patients' bedsides.